The Federal Reserve just cut interest rates by 50 basis points. Here's what will get cheaper. Published Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. CNBC Make It. The Federal Reserve just cut interest rates by 50 basis points. Let's take a look what that means. This is the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis's website. And this chart represents the federal fund's effective rate. When the Federal Reserve raises or lowers the federal funds rate, it affects interest rates. And so in, in this historic chart, you can see when they start raising the rate, at some point, it triggers a recession. These gray lines represent recessions. So you can see here, they raised the rate and then a recession occurred. Again, they raised the rate and a recession occurred. Now on here, they raised the rate, but no recession occurred, but then they continue to raise it and then a recession occurred. And you can see throughout history, when they raise the rate, a recession normally follows after. Now, let's take a look at something a little more current. In 2005, they started raising the rate, and then they held it at about five and a quarter in July 2006, and they held it for about a year. They held it until July 2007, and then they started cutting the rate going into the Great Recession. Let's, let's scale this up a little bit. So here they raised interest rates, they held it for a year, about five and a quarter, and then they started cutting into the Great Recession. Then they held the rate at a historic low for many years, and they tried to get the rate back up, but then we had the world event that happened, and then they lowered interest rates again. In 2022, Jerome Powell, who is the federal chair, started raising interest rates because we started getting so much inflation from all this easy money People were really upset because house prices were doubling in price, food, gas, all going up. To combat that, they start raising the rate and basically making money more expensive to borrow, which slows the economy. In August 2023, they held interest rates again about five and a quarter, and it has been one year since they've held it at five and a quarter. Today, Jerome Powell has come out and said they're cutting the rate by 50 basis points. It doesn't show up on this graph yet on the Federal Reserve's website, but eventually you'll see it come down just a little bit. So it'll just like here, how it turned down a little bit, you're going to see the same thing happen here. Now, we don't know what's going to happen, right? We can look at the history and we see when the interest rates go up, a recession happens in almost every case. So you would think that might be the next step. We'll have to see. This is speculation, but it is interesting. If you have cash saved, if you're a saver, and we do have a downturn, that would be the time to deploy all your cash and go buy assets. Because what'll happen is, just like here, just like right here in this recession, down here you could go out and buy a house at a reasonable price. But as they kept interest rates low, it fueled more and more inflation and just drove the process straight up. So you would think the same thing may happen if they continue to cut rates and we do have a recession, then that would be the best time to purchase a large asset. Even if you're gonna get it financed, look how low these rates were. If they go back down to these rates, that would be the time to jump into the market. From when they started cutting rates here in July 2007 to the bottom down here in about 2010, it took about two or three years till we got to the bottom. If they continue to cut rates and we do go into recession, then approximately two or three years, we could see the bottom, which would be a great time to buy. We're on the Fed's website again, but this time we're looking at their balance sheet. This balance sheet is basically like their credit card. They can print up as much money as they want and go out and buy assets. One of the big things that they go and buy is mortgage-backed securities, or they go and buy the mortgages from the banks. They create new fresh money out of thin air. They go to the banks and buy those assets off their balance sheet. And so the banks can go and make more loans, which stimulates the economy. But you can see when we had the Great Recession, a lot of new money was created. This over on the left, you can see here, this represents trillions of dollars. So trillions and trillions of dollars were created and pumped into the economy, which also has a multiplying effect. And you can see when the world event happened, it went parabolic with the printing and continued. This is an enormous amount of liquidity pumped into the economy, which has created a lot of inflation that we're seeing. 
The Federal Reserve, with all their inflation, they started tapering their balance sheet. Meaning, when you go to pay your mortgage on your house, the Federal Reserve would take that money if they owned your mortgage, and then they would destroy it and take it out of the circulation. They've gotten about this far, which is good. They need to take that excess liquidity out of the markets so they can bring down inflation. But what a lot of people fear is once they start printing, once that money's in circulation, it's hard to get back out. You can see right here they started printing and printing and, and then continue to print, and now they're trying to bring it back out but they're already starting to cut the Fed's fund rate. So what may happen here is they may decide to stop quantitative tightening, which is pulling money out of the economy, and they may reverse course and start quantitative easing again. Quantitative easing is when they eject money into the economy. Let's hope that's not the case because when they do that, it creates more inflation. We'll have to see what happens. Jerome Powell has been doing a good job about getting this inflation down. He has been trying. He raised the interest rates. He started quantitative tightening a little bit here. So we'll have to see what happens. So far, if history plays out and they continue to cut, it looks like we may be going into a recession. So prepare accordingly.